heart. We're just blending this all together. And it's cut, it, it was out of, as you could see before, it had more of a dark chocolate type of color. It's now lightened up a bit. You can see how it's lightening up. Still smells fantastic, so just going to keep whipping this all together so I can... Now one thing I remember from cooking shows, so I do watch them sometimes, is that you don't want to overbeat batter, so it looks pretty evenly mixed. Now what you want to do is you want to fold in your marshmallows. Remember, one and a half cups of marshmallows. Mini marshmallows work fantastic. I don't know if you can use the other kinds, but mini marshmallows, they're cute, they're fantastic. You just want to mix these in. So, they're kind of sticking together. I don't know if that's like a problem, but I'm going to try to break them apart a little. So that their nice creamy goodness is evenly dispersed throughout the cake. Remember, this is just one and a half cups. Regular, run-of-the-mill, little mini marshmallows. I'm just breaking them apart because they're kind of sticking together. So, oh, that worked well. There we go. Whoops! One for the dogs when they come inside. All right. Now, I'm just going to kind of gently mix this in. It says fold. I have no idea what that means. I'm going to assume it's like folding batter. I, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to put these, mix them in together into the batter. Just like this. All right. Get some marshmallows trapped in there. Let's get those all out. Alrighty. Now, in a 13 by 9 inch pan, ta-da, I want to add this. Now, what I've already done is I've already taken some of this good spray. It's a non-stick spray. It comes in many different forms. I think one of them is Pam. I'm not totally sure. But this one's Smart Balance Omega. It's got something fantastic about it. I'm not sure what. You want to evenly coat your pan so that this cake, you don't want it to stick. You want it to kind of release itself from the pan. Alrighty, so I'm going to just kind of pour this batter into the pan. Like so. So the Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to preheat your, your oven should already be preheating to 350 degrees and you're going to bake this cake for 30 to 40 minutes so stay tuned because I'm going to make the icing and it's coming up next. Marshmallows! Mini marshmallows work fantastic. I don't know if you can use the other kinds but mini marshmallows, they're cute, they're fantastic. And we're back. You know what? After cooking for 45 minutes the cola cake is now done. As you can see I decided not to make the icing after all because I've noticed that all those gooey marshmallows melted kind of on the top and made its own kind of icing, so I opted not to, but if you want to, of course, the whole recipe, including the cake and the icing, can be found at board.fancyriba.com. It's located in the recipes forum, but you know what? I'm going to just take a moment, and I'm going to slice in to this cake, because it looks just wonderful. Try to get out a piece. Ooh, it's still nice and piping hot. Let's see how this tastes. Now, typically you'd want your cake to rest for a few minutes after you prepare it. Just let it sit, cool down a little bit. But you know what? I prefer, there's nothing better than hot cake. Mmm. It is hot. It is fantastic. You know what? Bon appetit to everyone out there at FancyReba.com. I'm Michael Collins. That cake is fantastic. Give it a try. It's Reba's Cola Cake. You can find the recipe over there on the forum. For FancyReba.com, I'm Michael Collins. Stay tuned to FancyReba.com for all your McIntyre entertainment. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.
so good. Can't believe it turned out.